Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast for March 6th through the 12th. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to connect and see what's coming up in the week ahead. We do have a full moon in your sign on the 7th. So we're going to see how these energies are affecting the Virgo Collective. Uh, sun, Moon, and Rising. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. This is a general reading. Not every single message is going to resonate, and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. You may need a private reading. First card that's coming up here for the Virgo Collective is the Justice card. This could be Libra energy. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Libra. That might be very significant at this time. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if you have Libra placements, there could be big, big changes or big, big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. Now, the full moon in Virgo is going to be a lot about helping us see uh, what is working for us, what isn't working for us, and what we want in our life and practical ways of going about getting it or making it happen. So with this justice card, you may be weighing your options. You may be weighing your options and weighing the head and the heart and bringing those into balance to go after what you want. I'm going to follow my heart so I'm not miserable, but I'm going to bring my brain along so I don't get burned or I don't fail on this journey. So bringing the head and the heart into balance. There could also be issues of fairness. And I feel... Virgo, that you're just kind of in this mindset where you're tired of giving more than what you're getting or finding yourself in situations where you're being mistreated or disrespected. And so I feel there's a sense of like demanding respect here with the justice card. Some of you could have a situation that you're taking to the courts. Maybe you're deciding to like finally put an end to a relationship and file for divorce uh, from somebody you've been estranged with or somebody you've been in limbo with for a long time. Uh, maybe you're deciding to go after someone for child support or money that they owe you. Some of you could be doing something and like going to court for a situation because um, sometimes the justice card can have to do with literal legal situations. The next card that's coming up here for the Virgo Collective is the Eight of Pentacles. And this is working out the details, carving out the details. Now, you're going to have a lot of um uh fire in you to make things happen right with this justice card energy with this uh you know uh, motivation to go after what you want and the eight of pentacles reminds us that we need to slow down a little bit and just pay attention to the details we don't need to rush this process we don't have to hurry up and make things happen overnight. Just pay attention to the details. Some of you, like in a work situation, if you're feeling really overwhelmed or you've started a new job and you're not feeling sure about yourself, again, Eight of Pentacles reminds us quality over quantity. This is also like pay attention to the details. Pay attention to the tasks. This is a card that can also come up when we're feeling led or guided to learn a new skill. We might be feeling led or guided to learn a new skill. And so some of us might be looking into investing time or energy into equipment or training or certification uh, that's going to help us with our goals moving forward or help us with establishing further abundance. Uh, sometimes this could be a, a card where we're feeling led or guided to learn something new um, that's going to be beneficial for us, that's going to... Uh, be abundant for us, be productive for us. The next card coming up here for the collective is the sun. And this is again, a major arcana card. This could be Leo energy. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Leo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. That might be very significant at this time. Again, if you have Leo placements, there could be big, big changes or big, big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. The Sun card is a card about being seen, being celebrated, being appreciated. So Virgo, you're not going to deal with situations where you're being tolerated, right? You're like, I deserve more than to be tolerated. You're looking for situations where people are happy to see you. They're excited to see you. They have enthusiasm to be around you. They have enthusiasm and appreci appreciation for what you're doing. Um, some of you might be in a work environment. 
where it's just kind of the culture is no news is good news, right? Like the only attention people get is like when they're in trouble or when they're slacking or when there's a complaint. And aside from that, it's crickets and tumbleweeds. And some of you are deciding, I don't like that. I don't want that. I want the recognition. I want the acknowledgement. Or in relationships or friendships, you might feel like you're not getting enough affection, love, appreciation. You're like, I'm done with that. I'm not doing that anymore. You got to be happy to see me. You got to kiss me like you mean it, you know? So some of you might just be in this energy where you feel like you need more. You need more appreciation. You need more recognition. You're ready to be seen. Sun card is also, for me in my readings, breaking out of codependency. So you might be more alert to that in the coming weeks where you're seeing codependent behaviors. And you're like, nope, I don't want it. I don't want the codependency. I'm not going to do the codependency. I'm not going to feel responsible or obligated for somebody else's every emotion and, you know, uh, making them happy, like making sure everything is perfect. Like I can't, I can't fix everything for everybody. And so you're looking for more positive energy and more independent energy and not getting pulled into codependent cycles or codependent situations uh next card coming up here for the virgo collective is the four of swords and four of swords is a card that comes up for me in readings for people that emotionally mentally spiritually sometimes even physically you've been through the ringer you've been through a lot and you need to process it. You need to release it and let it out. And so the Four of Swords says, this is a time to disconnect. This is a time to rest. This is a time to recuperate and to heal by connecting with prayer and meditation and just releasing everything that we've been through. Um, I feel for some of you, it, it, it's like Spirit is giving me a really interesting visual. Like I'm seeing a person really struggling to, to, to crawl to get to the top of the mountain. And there's this feeling of I can't stop. I can't stop because if I stop, I'm not going to be able to keep going up this mountain. I can't take a break. I got to keep pushing because if I stop moving, I might not get back up again. And so this person finally gets to the top of the mountain and then they just fall to their knees and they're just sobbing. Because the view is so beautiful. They see such a beautiful view. Uh, the air is so crisp. Um, they finally did it. They finally made it. You know, like it was really hard. It was really challenging. They finally accomplished it. And they just break down and they just start crying. And that's what I feel here with the Four of Swords. Some of you are feeling like you're out of the woods. Or you're away from a bad situation. And now you're like, but I want to build I want to create like that person's up at the top of the mountain I want to set up camp or I want to start building my house hold on now hold on now you just climbed a mountain you need a minute you need to rest you need to recuperate you need to relax you need to get your energy back take a moment for gratitude you know take a moment for prayer and then you can get back to work again so I feel here Virgo that a lot of you are going to feel like you've come a long way you might even feel like lucky to be alive or, or like you're getting a second chance at life here. And so be easy with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Let yourself process the things you've been through. And you're coming into a time of building, building and creating um, a fair life, an abundant life, uh, a life where you have people that are celebrating you, supporting you are enthusiastic about you and don't make you feel like you're being tolerated but 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 have joy have joy and um are joyful to have you around and, and and have you in their life so coming into a time of appreciation uh you may want to check your other placements sometimes your other placements might resonate more than your sun sign i will have a playlist that will take you to the other videos it will be easier to find and if you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. 
I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. Take care, Virgo.